Open banking, I think, is the technology that will have the, the biggest impact on, uh, on lending. It's going to enable customers to get to a lending decision and certainty uh, of that decision far, far quicker than they, they do now. It will also help uh, brokers focus more on delivering a high quality of advice to their customer rather than spending too much time on packaging up uh, an application to send in to a lender who then inevitably will have questions back on that, uh, that same information. With open banking, the lender will just get that information fast. So I think that will help to just bring down timescales overall and improve what customers think currently is a slow and complicated journey and actually make it much more, much more real time for them and much more of a satisfactory process to go through. I think that the impact that uh, challenger banks will have on lending in five years time is that we'll have helped to raise the service quality levels in the industry through technology. We'll have helped to remove bottlenecks from that process and help customers get, understand their choices quicker and to help brokers deliver a, a better quality of service to, the, to their customer as well at the same time. The distribution will change over the next few years by the timescales becoming driven by the, the customer's requirements rather than by the, the lender's supply chain and the blockages that using conveyancers and values can have on that overall timescale. I think that will be one of the, the most significant changes that we'll see. I think an instant credit decision is an achievable goal. I think open banking will certainly help with that and enable customers to understand their options quicker and to get that certainty, which then allows them to go on with what they really want to do, which is buy a property.